Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I have some new Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs for you guys. If you're new here and you like home decor and DIYs on a budget, make sure to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications before you leave so you never miss out on a new video. Let's get started. For this DIY, I wanted to make a Christmas village that was all one unit that I could pick up and move to different places if I wanted to, and it was all still intact together and the houses didn't fall apart. So to do that, I made a platform with three of these wooden pieces from Dollar Tree that I hot glued together long ways. You could use wood glue instead, but then I turned it over on the back and reinforced them with my staple gun along the seam. Next, I picked up three of these light up little houses from Dollar Tree. I picked up a church, a little cafe, and a little house. And they light up uh, with a switch on the bottom. So I wanted these you know, to be easily accessible so that that way I could turn them on and off. So I have this hook and loop adhesive tape that I got off of Amazon a long time ago, but you can find something like this at Dollar Tree. I cut three small strips and I just um, undid the adhesive part and placed them on to the backs or the bottoms of the three houses um, and then I placed uh, them onto my platform just removing uh, the strip on the bottom of each one of them so that that way they would stay. So I just positioned them the way I liked them and you can make this platform as big as you'd like. You can use a scrap piece of wood. You can get a bunch of different houses from Dollar Tree and make a huge display. Now I did run into a little bit of problem with the hook and loop adhesives. The self adhesive was um, not sticky enough. So what I did was I took the one piece off and I just used a little bit of hot glue underneath that piece that is supposed to stay stuck to the piece of wood. Um, and I did that for all three of the houses so that that way that piece won't come off with the houses and it'll make sure that it has good adhesion and sticks to the wood. And then I just placed the houses back on and you can see I just lifted them up and I was able to turn each one of the houses on to make them light up. So it just kind of takes a little effort just to pull it off there a little bit to get it away from the uh, hook or loop or whatever part um, is on the base. Um, and then that way, you have a little village. Now you could paint your wood and you can leave the houses uh, the color that they come, but I decided to use a can of white spray paint and some of this faux snow. What I did was spray paint the whole thing and then throw some of the faux snow on there so that that way it looked like it was like a snowy little village. Then I took these three trees from Dollar Tree and just hot glued them to the base. You can add whatever you'd like to this. It's definitely customizable. I love how this turned out. It's so pretty and classic. Oh, da, 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 da. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new this DIY, I wanted to make a wreath, so I'm using one of the green foam wreath forms from Dollar Tree, and I had two bags of these wood pieces from Dollar Tree, so I'm going to use those. Now, I need to cover up the back of the wreath, so I had this fluffy, fuzzy scarf from Dollar Tree from last year, so I took it and I just hot glued it around the back of the wreath and uh, just made sure that I glued it in place and then when I flipped it over the front was still showing um, a little bit but I just kind of wrapped it over in some places and made sure it was all hot glued down because I'm gonna be covering up the green with most of those wood pieces so once I got all of that hot glued down I'm just gonna go ahead and take those wood rounds and use hot glue to just secure those to the wreath form. And like I said, I'm 
basically just trying to cover up the green that is showing. So I had two bags of these wood pieces, like I said. Um, so I worked my way around and staggered them to make sure I tried to cover up the green as much as I could. It probably would have been a little bit better if I could have had another bag of these, but I didn't and I didn't want to run back out to the store. So I was working with what I got. Um, but just bear with me. It looks kind of crazy right now, but it will all come together in the end. It looks a little sporadic, but um, I left an opening there in the middle because I didn't have enough wood pieces to cover up, but I'm gonna cover that up later on. So to fill in the little gaps that you can still see through the wood pieces, I had a couple bags of these little pine cones from Dollar Tree, and these worked perfectly to fill in the gaps. I just hot glued them in and I covered the rest of the whole wreath with these pine cones and it worked perfectly. It was just what this wreath needed to kind of fill in and make it look that winter wondery land look that it has to it, this natural look. So I went ahead and like I said, I used all of the pine cones and I filled in all of the gaps where I needed to um, and then what I did was I needed to cover up that middle piece there uh, that I didn't have any wood for. So I had this ribbon from Walmart. You can use whatever wide ribbon that you have. Um, this was just from last year and I just made a hanger with that. And then I used the other bag of pine cones that I had to kind of fill in the gaps next to the ribbon. And then with the rest of the ribbon, I made a bow and placed it on top there. So you can't even notice the gap anymore. I love how this natural winter Wonderland wreath turned out. It's so pretty. You could add greenery or maybe some pops of color with some red berries and kind of just make it your own and do whatever you would like. But it's a jumping off point and I think it's really pretty for Christmas and winter. Oh, please, but this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna For this DIY, I'm gonna use two of these 3D wreath forms from Dollar Tree. Uh, they come in two different sizes that I've seen. There's a bigger one and then there is a smaller one. So I'm gonna use one of each of both of those. And I'm just gonna open them up and make this saphir out of each one of them. They come with this little silver disc for the top and the bottom of them to help keep them open. It's pliable, you just wrap it around the uh, wires to keep it open. So once I got that finished, I am going to use this piece of wood. It came from Dollar Tree. You can use any scrap piece of wood that you have as a platform. And then I'm gonna take the bigger 3D wreath form and I'm going to hot glue it on top of that piece of wood. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I actually should have used uh, some staples from my staple gun and just kind of stapled around the wire into the wood to help keep it up better. But I used a lot of hot glue and held it there until it was dry. Now I wanna attach these two pieces together and I wanna make a snowman. So the smaller one is the head and the larger one is the body. So when I was trying to attach them together, it made more sense to take these silver pieces off of the bottom of the smaller ball and the top of the bigger ball where they come together at. And then you can see here where I am removing the rings uh, from that piece on the smaller ball and that way I can put those rings onto the bigger ball and attach it together so that way it stands up a little bit better. And then I took some zip ties and I zip tied some of the wires to the bigger ball so that way everything was more secure. Then I took some white spray paint and I spray painted the whole thing white. Next, you can see that I wrapped everything in fairy lights. These fairy lights came from Amazon. I used two packs of them. You can get a lot of them for a really good price and they're longer than the ones from Dollar Tree, so I only had to use the two packs to wrap this whole thing. Um, so I will leave a link to those down below in the description box if you're interested, but the Dollar Tree fairy lights will work too. You'll just need a lot more of them to cover this whole thing because it's pretty big. 
Um, and then for the hats for my snowman, I just used this hat ornament that I found from Dollar Tree. I hot glued it on the top of his head. And then for his scarf, I used this burlap green ribbon from Dollar Tree that I just wrapped around its neck and tied it and then used a little hot glue to secure it down. And I cut the ends off. And then where I hot glued it to secure it in the middle there, I used a uh, that another little piece off of an ornament to hot glue that and cover that up and I love how this turned out it's so cute I'm running around keeping people please but this is my favorite holiday it's a chance to start over new cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you are the good times with you. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below by leaving me a snowman emoji and giving this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.